Well, I kind of, I've always scribbled, I've always kind of messed around. I remember when I was seven, my uh, teacher asked us to, uh, to draw, I think it was a fish, and, uh, and I did this fish, and then uh, I went back and looked through the work, and uh, there was a star next to the fish, and it was the first time I'd had a gold star when I was a kid, and just remember, you know, when the book came home at the end of the year, the fish was the one that went on the wall above my bed. Oh, I don't know why I paint, I just, just, it's like, why do I breathe? You can't help it, you just, it's something I need to do. I had a period in my life when um, I was working full time and you know, my first son came along and uh, uh, I, w I wasn't painting and I realised there was something missing. So um, it's not so much a you know, desire to create pretty, pic pretty pictures, it's just a need to express myself on paper, I think, or, or on walls or on bits of found material. Just, it's just something I have to do. I, I get jitters if I, if I don't do it. Free Art Friday um, is a project that um, started about 10 years ago. Um, I, I came into the street art world quite late, so I wasn't a, a teenager wanting to um, kind of territorial piss everywhere. I didn't, you know, need to get my name out all over the place. Um, but I did really like that, that urban environment. I like the peeling paint. I like the fact that anybody and everybody can walk past and see it. It's not in a white cube that only a specific group of people are going to go and visit. Um, so I kind of try, how, how am I going to create some work on the street that's not going to do the damage that a stencil or a wheat paste is going to do? So I started working on bits of cardboard or wood or whatever I could find lying around the street. So I'd pick it up, bring it back, paint it, and I'd catch a train on the way to work on a Friday to do my bit for the environment. And so on a Friday I would uh, you know, just leave it in a little spot and take a nice picture and, and let it do its own thing. I suppose it could be that if I'm putting bits of rubbish out on the street I could be seen as littering. And, um, you know, I do have an environmental head and uh, I do kind of, you know, I love the place that I live in and I don't want to mess that up. So, um, yeah, if I can find a bit of rubbish, bring it home and bring it to life in some way, then when I put it back again, then I don't feel that I'm necessarily adding to kind of, you know, a negative, having a ne negative impact on where I live. Every day, you know, a new kind of little faction of the uh, organisation will say, oh yeah, we've, we've run Free Art Friday over here in Oregon or, um, you know, over here in Russia or some, in Poland, there's a group going on and it's just, a, you know, a bunch of people that are maybe not quite ready for galleries and making loads of money on their work, but they produce some lovely work and they want people to see it uh, and it's free, you know, there are no rules, there are no boundaries about what you're doing, you just collect it and, you know, you make it and you put it out on the street and hopefully somebody will pick it up and enjoy it. I don't know what the future holds at the moment. Every day I wake up and something mad happens. If I can get the Free Art Friday word out and, you know, to visit new countries and to work on bits of rubbish that I can find there, every new experience leads to new ideas and new work. So, yeah, you know, I want I want to see the world. I want to, you know, I want the world to see the work. So, uh, yeah, that that's it. I want to get out and about.